guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and haul of the different workout clothes that I have been buying for my home workouts. So a couple years ago, biker shorts kind of came back into like the workout wear and like casual wear scene and I was really against them for a very long time but this summer with COVID going on and doing more at home workouts one of the things that I've been doing is actually working out outside and going on long walks and where I live it's been getting very very hot and frankly my capri leggings are not cutting it anymore and I do really need to switch over to some sort of shorts and with everything going on the brands that I normally stick to religiously for workout wear which is for the most part Athleta I can't get my hands on pieces from there which I know are reliably and like always always amazing quality so I have had to try out a ton of different brands and I thought that I would share it with you guys talk about whether or not the items are squat proof show you what they look like on and just give you really honest reviews so I have products from Nike Beyond Yoga and the Free People Movement brand, and I'm gonna show them all to you guys and talk to you guys and get into the real information with you. So the first short that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Hang Time short. I got them first in this gray color and they have a four and a half inch inseam. They are not the same length as most biker shorts. They are a little bit shorter while still giving you a lot of booty protection. My favorite thing about these shorts is that they are the most squat proof of all of the shorts that I have ordered and tried on. They don't come in as wide of a color range, which is the biggest drawback, but I got this gray and I do really like it. It's at least a different color than just all black, which is what I normally wear when I work out. In these shorts, I picked up the size small and I found that they fit really true to size. Small is what I wear in most workout pants and I didn't need to size up for any reason. And I will say that these shorts don't have any side pockets. They do have a little pocket in the back, which is good to slide a key or a credit card in if you need something like that, but it's not big enough to hold your phone. And I also picked it up in the hot cherry or like red color. And I really liked this red. It complements my skin color really well. And it also is just equally as squat proof. And that's really important to me. These shorts are a softer feel. They're really great for like bar, yoga, and Pilates workouts. They are not what I would normally wear for like a HIIT or cardio workout. And with Pilates, bar, and yoga, there's a lot of bending and stretching and squatting. And it's really important that to me, you can't see through my shorts just for me to be comfortable and confident. And so I really, really recommend these. While we're talking about these shorts, I do want to talk about the Happiness Runs Crop Tank, which is my go-to workout top, and it is also from the Free People Movement Collection. I have it in this gray color that matches the shorts, and I've actually ordered it for the Hot Cherry shorts as well because I like to have matching sets. This top is, to me, the perfect kind of fitted crop top for workouts. It is a nice thick ribbed material so if you don't want to wear a bra with it for more of a yoga class you can comfortably do so and if you do want to layer it with a sports bra it works out really well I find the cut of it to be super flattering and it really kind of gives you the right compression which is important to me at least when I'm wearing a crop top but it doesn't squeeze you so that way you're bulging out in any area I also picked up this top in black because I just think it's the most versatile and I have a couple of them already and I figured I could always use another one. While we're talking about the cherry shorts that I got, I did order three tops to go with it. Like I said, I ordered the Happiness Runs Crop, which is the one that I'm wearing in the red, but it hasn't come yet. And then I ordered two other tops with it. These two tops I had never ordered from Free People before and I got them because they were in the same colorway as the shorts and I wanted a matching set. So the first one that I picked out is the Lightning Synergy Crop and this one is more of a sports 
bra fit. I ordered it in the size small and it was a little bit too small for me. It's a little too snug on the sides. It's also more cropped than I would like it. This top is really cute because it does have the crisscross back, but again, it was just too short for me, so I'm not going to be keeping it. And I also found it to be a little bit too sheer for a sports bra. I also ordered the free throw crop and this was a top that I was hoping would be in the same material as the happiness runs but it's a little bit of a thinner material even though it's the same ribbed pattern and to me it was just a little bit too sheer and the color doesn't actually match all the way if you guys can tell it's kind of more of like a vibrant neon red than this color so even though they're called the same thing online I just didn't like it and so because of that, I'm just not going to keep it because it's a little more sheer than I want it and I don't think it would layer with a sports bra quite as well as the Happiness Runs crop. The next shorts that I got from Free People are the High Rise Biker Baby Shorts. These shorts have a nine and a half inch inseam, which means that they are the length of typical biker shorts that you normally see, so they come right above the knee for the most part. And they do have a great high rise fit as well. These ones did run a little bit sheer to me, so I did size up from the small to the medium, and I found that that fixed the squat proof problem that I had. So while they're not sheer anymore, they are a little bit bigger, which means that you lose out on some of the compression, which is a little bit upsetting to me, but I still really wanted a good pair of bike shorts that weren't see-through. So to me, I'd rather lose the compression and keep them not sheer and hope that they shrink a little bit in the dryer than to go with my normal size with good compression and then have them be completely see-through when I bend over. These again don't have have a pocket on the side but they do have that same little pocket in the back just big enough for your keys again I got these in a medium so not my normal size but they are still really good the last short that I ordered from free people movement is called the Prajana short I think that's how I'm supposed to pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. It is the shortest short out of the ones that I'm showing you guys today with a three and a half inch inseam. It's not something that I really wanted, but I've heard that these are thicker and more squat proof, so I wanted to try them out. I don't tend to wear shorts quite this short, like a three and a half inch seam to me at this point is a little bit too short. I used to wear shorts like this all the time when I was on cheerleading and um, I'm interested to see how I like it. If I get it in time for this video, then I will insert a clip here and I will try to just kind of uh, leave some sort of information about it maybe in the comment section in the description bar down below once I get it so that way I can tell you my thoughts. I do want to take a quick second to mention that I have also ordered and tried out the Good Karma bike short from Free People. Um, I ordered it before I realized that I was going to film this video because I didn't realize how hard it would be to find good bike shorts and I returned them. Those were also incredibly sheer. They only run extra small small and medium large. I got them in the navy color so it really Really shouldn't have been the shade that made them sheer. I got them in the medium large again kind of foreseeing the sheerness problem a little bit with this fabric because I have seen them before in person and they were so disappointing. The compression was great on them that they fit great but just standing up I could tell that they were sheer before I even squatted and then when I squatted it was scary. <laughs> so they were a real fail to me and I don't recommend you get those. The next brand that I ordered from was Beyond Yoga and I had really high expectations for this brand because I've been seeing it on Instagram a ton and they have a lot of different colors. So these are the Beyond Yoga High Waisted Bike Short. I don't have the exact inseam for you but I want to say that it's around the 8 inch mark. They're a little bit shorter than the black ones that I have from Free People but they're still longer than the other shorts. These are some of the softest biker shorts that I ordered. They're really like like buttery and smooth and I love it they're perfect for yoga Pilates bar again and I have worn these out while working out and I do really like the fit of them they feel nice and fitted now my only complaint is that they were again a little bit see-through when I ordered my regular size which is a size small they were a little bit sheer and if I bent over I would feel 
okay, but not great. So again, I sized up to a medium and I found that that did help the problem a lot. Again, not perfect, but enough that I would feel comfortable wearing them bending over in a yoga pose or something like that. So I got the black and I do really like them. I ordered two tops to go with it. So I'll show you guys those in turn. The top that I like and I'm going to keep is the Beyond Yoga Space Dye Slim Racerback Tank Top. So this one is just a regular tank top. And then in the back, it comes to a racer back kind of form. It has thin straps. And again, it is really nice and soft and buttery. And again, I went with a size medium in the top. I tend to take a bigger top than I do on the bottom just because of my chest. So um, both of them I got in a medium. Really like them both. They make a really cute set together. And I I'm excited to try more from Beyond Yoga. I wish that they had the pocket version. I couldn't get the ones with the side pockets because I like pockets on my workout pants, but for now these will do. I also got the Beyond Yoga at your leisure twist front sports bra. So I got this bra after trying on the tank top because I wanted something a little bit shorter but I don't like the crisscross design in the front. It just has an awkward lay to me that it kind of forms like a weird cutout in the top um, of your upper abs. And I don't like how that looks. It also feels a little bit weird with coverage on my chest that it's like two strips overlapping. So to me, this just isn't enough coverage to work out and it doesn't lay right to make me feel confident enough in it which is really important to me in workout clothes i want to feel fully confident and comfortable and this just wasn't it for me but i do think it's really cute and depending on how it lays on you it might be a lot better and i tried this in a size medium as well the last pair of shorts that i have that i ordered are the nike one bike shorts these shorts have a seven inch inseam and to me these were the biggest disappointment out of all the ones that i ordered because i had really high hopes for nike with the quality and these were the most glaringly sheer not squat proof shorts which is crazy because considering the other brands are more targeted towards like bar and Pilates and yoga, you would think that the brand targeted at hit cardio and performance activewear would have squat proof shorts, but they don't. These were so sheer. I did get them in the small and I didn't try them out in the medium because they were just so incredibly sheer that I can't imagine that going up a size would change the fabric. Like if I put my hand and just stretch it even a little bit, I could see my nail polish color through these. And because of that, I was like, there's no way that I would even bother getting them in the next size up because they're just not going to work. Overall, they do have a really nice feel and they're the kind of fabric that I would prefer to do a hit workout in, but I could never wear those in public. And so for that reason, I'm not keeping them. So that is it for my biker short review and for my little haul. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification button if you wanna see what I put out next time. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. And if you guys wanna check out one of my other videos, you can click on either of those here or click on my face to subscribe.